How to stop constipation? Oops. <laughs> is a really interesting question. The issue about constipation is about imbalance again. If your body is imbalanced, then your body is going to have issues with um, releasing some of the foods and toxins from your body. So, I mean, everybody knows about getting higher fiber content, but it's where you get your fiber that's important. If you're getting your fiber from whole grains and vegetables, your body actually processes that um, there's a lot of water in leafy greens. So you're not just drinking water, but you're actually eating it. The same thing in a pineapple or an apple. Those things are not just fiber, but they're actually water, which helps you process. If you're having a white bread or a white grain, what happens when they strip the whole grain and they take off all the fiber and you're just left with the white grain, that's an unenriched grain. So it has no nutritional value. So your body actually doesn't know how to process it, it holds on to it. If you're eating a whole grain, it actually gives more to your body and your system. So eating you know, brown rices, brown pasta, whole grains, leafy fruits and vegetables is more than just what you're eating. You're actually drinking some of your liquids as well. Of course, having lots of water is great for your system for lubrication. Another thing is exercise. People don't realize the amount of simplicity it is in just taking a walk because what happens is your blood flow is going through your system, your liver is able to process, and you're able to eliminate some of those toxins faster than if you're just sitting around, you're sluggish, you're not moving. So your body actually isn't processing the foods that you're putting into your body. So when you're even taking a walk, to walk to your post office, whatever it is, your body is forced to pump that blood through your system, which actually forces you to excrete.